Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Metroid 2 Return to Samus, and last time we made it to this weird webbing room and got a bunch of expansions and all that, and now we are going to kill the Metroid that's in this room, and it's, it's just an Alpha Metroid, so... And whoa, that was kind of weird, I was kind of like stuck in the um, space jump for a second. I wonder what calls that. I mean, I know it wasn't the webbing, because the webbing's not solid. Anyway, so clear out a huge area like I did, and then just get the Alpha Metroid to a point where you can just blast it, and it dies. And you know, now that I've been uh, killing a lot of these Metroids recently in my practice file and everything, and in this, um, you know, the the Alpha Metroid just become completely, like, easy as heck compared to the Gamma Metroids and the future uh, next form of Metroids that we'll be fighting soon. Okay, so when you come in here, you see the Gamma Metroid right there. And, um, don't get too close to it because you can't, it can be, you can be hit by its lightning. So just go back and then what you have to actually have to do is jump through the Metroid shell, or egg or whatever that is. And then come through here. And now we have to deal with the Gamma Metroid in a webbing room, which kind of sucks. But, um... At least this room isn't too big to where you'd have to clear out everything in it. But, you know, just try to take it out normally, avoiding the the web-filled areas like the top here. Are you kidding me? It respawned? That's not fair. Hello, I'm down here. What are you doing? Fool. Are you kidding me? I will not die again in this LP. I didn't die in my practice file at all, and my practice file is where... I usually die the most in an LP. Die, you fool! Die! You! Fudging! Fool! Yeah! Alright, and I'm, I'm pretty sure there's an energy ball somewhere, so I'm not gonna start freaking out about my health. Um... Alright. Now let's go back to this last shaft. So jump back through the Metroid egg, or shell, or whatever you decide to call it. I'm just going to call it a shell, because I, that's what it looks like. And then we'll crawl back up here and get out of here. You know, this this webbing stuff really kind of trips me out, because it, you know, it looks so much like um, honeycombs or something, and I thought it would be like where the Metroids are storing their eggs or something. Okay, so avoid these guys, don't take any unnecessary damage. So the last thing I want to do is die again in this LP, because that first death was embarrassing enough. But then, you know, you die again. And, uh, uh and these guys are, these guys suck, because with the plasma beam, you can only hit them in certain areas. So, uh, we'll go in here. And I believe that we... Okay, I was about to say, do we have to shoot through the floor again there? And, uh... Wow. <laughs> I don't really remember this room all that much, but I do remember these little, like, pebble, short, tiny little platforms. And they're weird because, uh, they're so small and they're kind of hard to get on them exactly. Okay, so we'll go down here and we'll go to the left. And I believe these things that are on the wall here that kind of resemble those caterpillar things in Super Metroid, although you can kill these two, I'm pretty sure those things do damage. How much? I have no idea, and I don't really think I want to find out. So, I'm just going to take my time so that I don't take any damage that I know I can't um, afford to lose. And there's these like weird strangly things that are going like all the way up the ceiling. Is that some kind of like plant or something? Jeez. Uh. All right. I want to go through this door, and there's going to be yet another Metroid in here. So I'm hoping that I can find an energy ball. I know there's an energy ball somewhere around here because they wouldn't be this cruel to you. But there's this stuff at, here at the bottom. So I'm gonna. Oh, and there's an energy ball. Thank God. Thank God, thank God, thank God, thank God, thank God. Thank you, God. Thank you, Buddha. Whoever else. I don't know. Um, uh, why? Bomb this. 
Okay, I'm just gonna grab this energy because I know that if I don't, I'm gonna end up, like, screwing myself up and dying. So, you know, it's better to be safe than sorry. Gamma! Die. Die! Yeah, I can hit you from the bottom, but you can't hit me. Turn your backside to me, man. I can only hit your backside from that angle. Even though your backside is not supposed to go in an angle. But, you know. Alright, die in your mouth. Yeah, take it in your mouth! Yeah, put it... Take it in the mouth! God. Um. Okay. There we go. And I'm going to heal myself one more time, because I know if I don't, I'm going to be sorry. And I may, like, what I'm going to do before I leave this area is I'm actually going to play it safe again and go back to that missile battery, because, again, I know that if I don't, I'm going to end up running out of missiles again, and it won't be very funny. Well, it'll be funny for you guys, because people are jerks sometimes and like watching people fail, but, you know, it'll be not very funny for me, because I'm the one who's actually playing the game. Oh, now I believe there's a door in this shaft that we should go through and kill more Metroids. There's only two left in this area, and we will get those two in this part. Because I think, yeah, we're only up to, like, seven minutes. Okay, these guys are Meboids, I think. Like, Metroids. Yeah, Meboids. Yeah, kind of a weird enemy. They just kind of float around, and they slightly resemble Metroids. And although they don't um, jump on you, like the closest thing to like a fake Metroid that actually acts like it and everything that I've seen, I'm not sure if there's anything like it in the Prime series, because I know there's all kinds of forms of Metroids in those games. But um, in Super Metroid in Mer Meridia, there are Mocktroids, which are like very very weak forms of met you can kill them with like one shot with like whatever beam you have at the, at the time and uh... they but they actually latch onto you and suck your health and everything so they are actually probably the closest thing to fake metroid in any of the metroid games All right. so keep hitting you in the mouth yeah take it in your purdy mouth um... and now yeah, why is there like a delay or like a slowdown when you go through the shell? It's like... Samus is like crawling through the egg or something and all the egg juices and everything. Okay, maybe we go through here? Can't really remember exactly. Yep. And this is actually going to loop around, as you'll see. Because in this room we get to the top and... Oh, we come through a Metroid shell and I... Yeah, I don't think we can go back. But this is kind of just a shortcut to get us back to the beginning. Because whoever made uh, the guide that I was using, um, I should actually point out what guide I kind of used for my to make my notes with. Um, the guide I actually use is by a person named Lando Cashmere. I don't know if that's just their alias or if that's their actual name. But um, they're actually... They make a lot of Metroid games, and, or Metroid guides. They're all pretty good. Like, I'll, I'll be using the one for Super Metroid, I know that, because they go, like, in pretty good detail. Well, I'm not sure if it's their guide, but there's a guide out there for Super Metroid that actually tells you how much damage certain beams do, and how much uh, life enemies have, and, you know, you can pick out the damage that the beams and missiles do to actually see what's the best way to kill the enemy the quickest. So I'll be using that guide. Okay, do we keep going left? Yeah, we do. So, and there should be an earthquake here in a second. Oh, oh, Jesus. But oh, Jesus! Yeah, so there is the third earthquake in the game we've seen, I believe. And that will basically unlock the next area. So we're done with this one. Um, and I'm going to bring up my map for reference. And I'll put a link um, in the... I'll, I'll put the link to 
the guide I'm using and the map that I'm using in the description A. So you guys know. Description A. Does someone say that that I watch? I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure I've heard it before. And I think that's where I got it from. But anyway. Um. Yeah, pincher flies. We need to keep going back and back to the the surface, I guess you could call it. It's not really the surface at this point because we are totally underground from uh, where we started out in the beginning of the game. But anyway, we're going to go back to that area where, you know, that's basically obviously where you go um, every time you open up a new area. So, oh, well. Wait, am I going... I don't think I'm going the right way, Cletus. I know this leads back to the missile battery. Yeah. Hey, well, you know, since I'm here and I took the wrong way, I might as well use that, not as a fail, but as a chance to actually refill my missiles. Because I was actually not going to do it because I had 60-something, but again, I'll play it safe, and since I failed and came here, I might as well do that. Um, okay, well, let's keep going this way. We're not too far from the area where we're actually supposed to be, but, yeah. Sand room, sandy balls. Um, I'm trying to think. It, uh, ugh! I'm slightly lost. Let's see. Oh, oh! Um, okay, the, the room to the left, like the leftmost room is where we need to go. Who's that calling? Jeez, the phone! I'm not going to pick it up, or even check to see who it is, because I don't, I don't care. Um, oh, lava! Lava! Yeah, this is actually the, uh, the next, like, big main area. Um, but we can't get through there yet, so there's actually, like, two mini areas that we need to clear out before we can actually move on, and those are actually fairly quick and easy to get through, so those won't be a problem. And now we have to go through this room again, and I didn't mention this when I came through here the first time, but this room really does remind me of the one ball puzzle in, um, Super Metroid that's, um, in the entrance to... Like, the way that leads to Meridia from the wrecked ship. You see it in there. And it's, like, uh, really annoying there. Samus Aran, surface run. Ah, uh, don't sing it. It's gonna be off sync. Alright, um. Uh, yeah, I think we can go over here now. Yep. Now we got more me hoax. Which are basically harmless at this point. And more ULFs. And then here we got some Scorps. Yeah, that's their name, Scorps. They couldn't just plain out call them Scorpions, they had to call them Scorps. But they just, you know, pop out the wall. You know, stuff like that. And it makes me think, you know, I, I thought this when I first saw them. I was like, huh, they act just like the UL ULFs. Are they, like, related to them in some way? Are those, like, the baby Scorps or something? I don't know. It'd be very interesting to kind of find out. Okay, and then these guys are, um, Oc Trolls. Yeah, they're, they're trolls with eight legs, or trolls with eight accounts. <laughs> um, and these guys are really cool because they drop big energy balls, which give you 20 energy. So you can use them to kind of refill your health at this point if you need to, which I kind of did when I first came here, but now I'm good. And they're not very easy to kill, or not very hard to kill, so they're basically a great way to refill your health, um, and to kind of substitute for the lack of energy balls that are here. Do 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 do. That song just appeared in my head. I don't know why. Maybe you should ask some psychologist. Hoo 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 hoo. Okay, we only need to kill one Metroid to open up the next the next area. 
that we'll go through in the next the next area will actually open up the uh, previous area so it's kind of a backtracking kind of session I guess so okay what's down here these pill oh <laughs> nothing okay when I played my practice file I was like what's in what's down below these pillars and I thought it was gonna be a, be like lava or spikes or something so I never fell down the see what was going on but okay now I know it's just harmless so not a problem and here we have just a gamma metroid now this actually would have been the perfect point to introduce the new kind of metroid because um, it's an area all secluded in itself and then there's just this room at the top and you come and you fight a gamma metroid it would have been a perfect point to introduce the the next form of metroid but I guess they wanted to be just slightly generous and kind of postpone that until the the next big area, which, you know, all the better for them, I guess. And I think there's only three more forms of Metroids that we fight in this game. And the last, you only see the last two a couple times. Actually, I think you see the second to last one only once or twice, and then you see the last form. Um... Which is the Queen Metroid, I can go ahead and say that. But the last form you only see once because that is the final boss of this game. It's the Queen Metroid. You don't fight anything else, but you fight the Queen Metroid. No return of Mother Brain or anything. Which I, I really do hope that in the future Metroid games they do somehow rebring Mother Brain back as a boss. I know that the uh Aora units in uh Metroid Prime 3 are actually basically they're basically the same thing as Mother Brain only they're not exactly Mother Brain because they're not brains and they're not in glass tubes and they don't get up and walk like a freaky dinosaur type thing but you know they they didn't really they weren't really good enough for me to be Mother Brains so I just kind of you know think of them as their own little thing they're not Mother Brains they're just you know, AI or something. Because that's technically what they are. They are AI. But it makes you think because the Metroid, Super Metroid comes after the Prime series, so, you know, it makes you wonder if um, Mother Brain was actually. The second form of her was kind of inspired by the Aeora units. Okay, so anyway, uh, that lava cleared out the area that is, um, <laughs> I don't exactly remember. Uh, oh yeah, if we go back, back into the ballroom and everything, or through the ball puzzle, that'll lead to the next area. But, anyway... I'm going to go and end this part here because I think this is actually the perfect place to stop. And next time on Let's Play Super Metroid, we will move on to the next big area. See you guys next time. Bye.